Okay, today I will be showing you this new 1080p high definition wide angle swing lens dash camera. This camera is perfect for capturing video of traffic accidents and reporting dangerous drivers. It can help legally protect you if you are in an accident and it was not your fault. Whoa, dude. Think of it as an irrefutable eyewitness sitting next to you as you drive. You can also use it for personal security or to keep tabs on your teenager's driving habits. The best features of this dash camera are it easily mounts to your windshield. It has a 180 degree swing lens so you can record events outside your vehicle or inside. It has a playback option so you can watch recordings right on this LCD screen. It also has an auto start function so you can set it and forget it. There's a motion detect feature Feature, presumably for catching events on video while your vehicle is parked. Also, in the event of an accident, the G sensor function automatically write protects the current video file so that the evidence will not be accidentally erased later. Loop recording is supported, so you can set the camera to erase older files automatically to make room for newer ones. And you can use this dash cam as a webcam on your PC. Setting it up for the webcam function was a no-brainer on my Windows 7 PC and it took less than 30 seconds. I just plugged it in and Windows automatically installed drivers. Then I opened up some camera software I already had installed and I was web conferencing immediately. After using my demo model for several days, I have to tell you that I am really impressed with this dash cam. It has a nice wide 140 degree lens so you can see a large portion of the road ahead and to both sides of your vehicle. Also, the audio quality is much better than virtually any other dash cam I have reviewed or tested. My motel must be I recognize that green strip. Huh? Huh? What? Why would a green strip be there? Why? I don't know. Mom? What? What's bipolar? It's the uh, one less than tripolar. Your mom's tripolar. It's no. Like bipolar basically means you're just a little less crazy than tripolar. No, you're, no it's just like, you're, you, one minute you're like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. And then what next you're like, oh my gosh, like you're so no, that has to do with her not wearing makeup. Let's take a look at what you get. This dash cam comes in a box containing the 1080p HD swing lens dash camera, a suction cup mount, a USB cable for connecting the device to your computer, a cigarette lighter adapter with a 10 foot cord for powering the unit in your vehicle, and a set of manufacturer's instructions which are virtually impossible to decipher. Now to remedy this last problem, if you order from me directly, you will receive a set of these true English, easy to follow quick start instructions, so you can spend less time trying to decipher the awful manufacturer's Chinese to English translation, and more time recording video. My instructions will have you up and recording in no time. One of the really neat things I like about this dash cam is that you can swing the lens a full 180 degrees. This makes adjustment a breeze. It also enables you to turn the camera backwards so you can record what is going on inside the vehicle. Furthermore, having an independently adjustable lens makes positioning the camera much easier. I was able to mount my camera in such a way that it does not obstruct my view out the windshield. Now if you do swing the camera lens backwards, the video will be upside down. So then you just flip it right side up again in the menu options under rotate before recording. Installation is as simple as it gets. You just insert a micro SD card, attach the camera to the mount, use the suction cup to stick the camera wherever you want, then plug one end of the USB cord into the camera and the other end into your car's cigarette lighter. Start your car and the camera will power up and start recording automatically. Easy. The power wire that it comes with is very long, so you can either bundle it up and run it straight down, or you can run it behind your vehicle's interior trim for a cleaner installation. There are three buttons on each side that control the camera. The biggest thing to understand is that this camera has three different modes, and the buttons act differently depending on what mode you are in. I cover all of this in depth in my quick start guide, which you will get if you order from me, but I will go over a few things here. As I mentioned, this dash cam has an auto start feature. So, if you keep it plugged into your car's cigarette lighter, not only will the internal battery stay fully charged, but the camera will also begin recording as soon as you start your vehicle up. And when you park and stop the engine, the camera stops recording, saves the file that it's been recording, and shuts off all by itself. In practice, this means that you can just mount the camera wherever you like, set it, and then just forget about it. The camera will operate autonomously recording video whenever your car is running, and shutting off by itself whenever you park your car. 
Also, since it supports loop recording, there is no need to do any file maintenance. You can literally set this camera up in your vehicle and then completely forget about it. Don't touch it, just leave it alone. Then, if later on down the road, someone else causes an accident that you're involved in, the video evidence will be captured and saved to the card. While I was actually testing this dash camera, a white van ran a red light in front of us, followed by a car that slammed on its brakes so hard they left a smoke trail. If we had been unfortunate enough to be in the intersection and be hit by either of these vehicles, we would have had irrefutable proof that our vehicle had had the right of way. There would have been no question that they were in the wrong. Now, I will quickly go over the menu options available. Depending on which of the three modes you're in, you will get a different menu screen when you press this button right here. Video mode has the following parameters. Resolution, loop recording, exposure, motion detection, audio, and date stamp. The setup menu allows you to set the time and date, select auto power off options, turn on or off button sounds, select the language, Decide which TV mode you want, turn the G-Sensor on or off, and also select the level. Screen savers, which allows you to set the time that the LCD screen is on for before it shuts off automatically. Playback volume. Light frequency can be set to either 50 or 60 megahertz. Rotate, which is an important function. If you flip the camera backwards, you're going to want to set this option to flip the resulting video right side up. Format, where you can format your micro SD card right in the camera. Default setting, which returns the dash cam to its original factory settings. And also the firmware version that you have installed. Now photo mode has options for resolution, sequence, which is essentially just taking five or six pictures in a row, and then white balance and exposure, anti-shaking, and date stamp. Playback mode has options for deleting a selected file or files, file protection so you don't overwrite certain saved files, and slideshow. The up and down arrows not only navigate the menu structure, but they also zoom the image in and out. You can set the zoom closer or further away before you start recording, or you can zoom while the camera is recording already. The zoom works in both video record mode and also photo mode. If you are in playback mode, these buttons let you select which video file to watch. All things considered, this is an excellent choice for a vehicle dash camera with great audio, plenty of menu options, a sleek design, and versatile mounting and recording capabilities. When it comes to protecting your car, yourself, and your loved ones, you are definitely going to want to use something that has this level of quality. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel to see more gadget reviews.